Hi there, I'm David Schloss from MacCreate and the Aperture Users Network. I want to talk to you today about some of the changes that have happened in Aperture recently. Uh, everybody by now has probably seen the Aperture 3.1 update that happened a couple weeks ago, and the big thing about the 3.1 update were speed improvements. But Apple just released 10.6.5 today, the new version of the operating system, and that update has provided a really big speed boost to Aperture users. It's a good example of why it's important for a program like Aperture to use the core technologies like Core Image in OS X because as OS X improves, programs like Aperture get a speed boost on top of those uh, improvements as well. So what we're going to do today is I want to show you some work on this machine. This machine, as you can see, is running 10.6.4 and it's not a particularly fast machine. It's an Intel Core 2 Duo iMac. It's got 4 gigabytes of RAM and you can see over here that we are running Aperture 3.03. So what I did is I took a typical uh, typical type of image adjustment that was really causing bog downs in the export process. So what I did here is I have five images and you can see that these images are actually still processing. That's because I just made a change to one of these images. I just want to come up and take a look at the activity here and see what Aperture is doing. So one of the things that Aperture is doing is it's taking a look at these images. But I've made five images here and these images have a lot of heavy uh, lifting adjustments. By heavy lifting adjustments I mean things that normally take Aperture a long time to do, especially in the export, or really took a long time to do in 3.03, got an improvement in 3.1, and now have an even bigger improvement with 3.1 and OS 10.6.5. So let's take a look quickly at some of these images. What I've done here is I've done things on each of these images, like make multiple adjustments. These images were all shot with an Nikon D3S. So for example, on this particular image, uh, we've done a curves adjustment. We've done a highlight and shadow adjustment on the image. We've done a sharpen and we've uh, done some blur and some skin smoothing. And so those were effects that were painted on, they were brushed onto our image. This next image, we did even more to it. In this particular case, we have curves, we have multiple highlights and shadow adjustments. And those multiple highlight and shadow adjustments, uh, some of them were painted onto the image as well. And in this one, we've also got definition, skin smoothing, multiple skin smoothing in this case. So these are some of the things that are really advanced adjustments working uh, in Aperture. This one I blew out on a posterize just so we could see an extreme example of highlights and shadows. We have two highlight and shadow adjustments here going sort of in the opposite direction uh, for the highlight and shadow adjustments. They're both global so they apply to this entire image. And in the last two images what I did was a number of highlight and shadow adjustments uh, but I also, in addition to doing highlight and shadow adjustments, I did levels, and then I did some painting on the blur for a blur effect on these images. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to jump into this image here by hitting the Z key, and this is one of those areas that's going to see improvement uh, with the 10.6.5 and the 3.1. I'm going to zoom up to the top of the image, I'm going to pan over here, and I didn't brush all the way to the corner here when I was doing this blur. So I'm going to come down here and I want to go find that last, so the first blur that I did, and I'm going to click on the brush. I'm going to make it really large, a little smaller than that. And I'm going to just blur the edge over here. And we're going to see how long it takes Aperture to finish just processing that. So it's, it's showing me the blur that I did. And I'm going to do a blur down here. And now I've got the blur down across the image. So that was something that used to, um, in this version, takes a little while to do. And as we have more and more images, that takes longer and longer to do. So you'll see that updating in the viewer there. And I want to come back here and I'm going to just do my blur across all the rest of my image. And so now we've got even more adjustment data going on inside of this image. So now what we're going to do is I've selected all five of these images. I'm going to come under the file menu. I'm going to choose export versions. When I choose export versions, I'm going to say JPEG original size because we want to see how long it takes to render really big files. I'm going to say original size, leave them as named. I'm just going to say export versions. And now let's just take a look at the activity menu. I'm going to bring that up under uh, Aperture uh, Window Show Activity. And let's just sit here and see how long it takes. And again, this is Aperture 303 and 1064. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to upgrade under 1064 to Aperture 31. We'll upgrade our library. We'll do this export again and see how long that takes. So since this is going to take an incredibly long time, what we're going to do is we're going to time it, and then we're going to jump to the end of that and show you how long that took. So we let Aperture run for a little bit over two hours, and in that time, we only got two out of those five pictures exported. What happened there is that the third picture, and I'm going to jump over to that picture and take a look at it, this third picture here was uh, so 
full of edits that Aperture just took forever in order to try and export that. We could have let it run overnight and we would have come back the next morning and all of the pictures would have exported, but it was a real problem for a lot of users in Aperture 303. So what we've done now is we've updated Aperture. I'm going to come up here and you can see that Aperture now is version 3.1. We haven't updated to OS 10.6.5 yet. We're going to do that next. So now I'm going to come up to the file menu. I'm going to choose export. I'm going to choose versions. I'm going to point it at that same folder that had those two uh, files that were exported from the first test. And I'm going to just say the same thing, original size images. I'm going to say export versions. And we're going to let that export at this point. And I'm going to see how long that's going to run. So I'm going to go to the Windows menu. I'm going to choose show activity. I'm going to bring up show activity. And let's see if it's faster now using Aperture 3.1 with the same images uh, where we only got two images exported in just about two and a half hours with Aperture 3.03. Okay, so it just finished doing the export, and so you didn't have to sit there and watch it all. It took three minutes uh, and three seconds to do the export of all five images, whereas in 3.03, .03, it took a little bit over two hours to get the first two images out and then uh, stalled pretty much on the third image so that we stopped the process to come back and do it again. So that's a, a huge order of magnitude different. To go from two hours for two to three minutes for all of them, that's, that's incredibly uh, faster. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up to the Apple menu and I'm going to go to software update and we're going to look and see what updates are available and we're going to see that Mac OS 10 update and I'm going to apply that update. It's going to take a little while so we'll pause and then we're going to take a look and see what it looks like when we do that exact same thing under OS uh, 10.6.5 and Aperture 3.1. Okay, so now we've updated to version 10.6.5 of Mac OS 10, and we're going to go back to Aperture and do the same thing. We're going to take the same five files that we were looking at before. We're going to do the file menu. We're going to choose export versions. We're going to point it back at that same location. I have a folder called speed improvements. Turn on show alert when finished. Hit export versions, and now Aperture is going to go through and export those images. I'm going to bring up the activity menu so I can take a look at this, and let's see how long that takes to export. So by my watch, it took about 49 seconds to do all five of those images, which is amazing. We started with Aperture 303 and OS 10.6.4, and it took a little bit over two hours just to get the first two images done. We then switched to Aperture 3.1 with 10.6.4, and it took about three minutes to get those images exported, all five of those images, though, not just the first two, all five of those images. We then switched to 10.6.5 with Aperture 3.1, and it took us 49 seconds to do the same thing that it had taken us several hours to do. Now granted, Aperture 303 should never have taken that long to do those five images, but the fact that we went from Aperture 3.1, where we were doing it in three minutes for those five images, to go to Aperture 3.1 with just an update to the operating system to drop to 49 seconds, that's, that's an incredible boost, which makes me really looking forward to things like OS 10.7 that'll come out in the summer, uh, and updates to Aperture to see how fast this program really can get.